Okay, the idea for this problem is to come up with a function that defines theta, this angle right here, in terms of x, the distance that the person is standing from the wall where the painting is hung. Uh, and if I label this little angle right here as 1 and the bigger angle is angle 2, then theta is equal to the measure of angle 2 minus the measure of angle 1. That's the angle addition postulate. Okay, now to get a function of theta in terms of x, we have to use some right triangle trigonometry. And we're going to end up being taking taking the derivative of either the inverse tangent or the inverse cotangent. I recommend using inverse cotangent so that we get x in the numerator <coughs> of this function instead of uh, in the denominator. So what's true is that the cotangent of angle 1 is equal to adjacent over opposite, x over 2 which means that angle one is equal to the inverse cotangent or arc cotangent of X over two. And similarly, the measure or the cotangent of angle two, the big angle is X over this entire distance, which is six. So the measure of angle two is equal to the inverse cotangent of X over six. And now we've got a formula for theta in terms of X. Theta is equal to the inverse cotangent of X over six which was a measure of angle two <clears throat> minus the inverse cotangent of X over two. That's a function of theta depending on X to find out when theta achieves a maximum or minimum value. We want to take the derivative of theta with respect to X, set the derivative equal to zero and probably take steps to determine whether that value of X when the derivative of zero gives us either a maximum or a minimum, which could be the second derivative test or the first derivative test. <clears throat> so here's the formula for the derivative of arc cotangent, negative 1 over 1 plus x squared. So the derivative of this term right here is negative 1 over 1 plus this thing squared, which is x squared over 36. Here's where we have to employ the chain rule, times the derivative of the inside, 1 over 6. Similarly, for the derivative of this term, we're going to have minus a minus 1 over 1 plus this thing squared, x squared over 4, times the derivative of the inside. <clears throat> if we simplify that by distributing this 6 over the denominator and this 2 over the denominator, we get what's in blue over here. And then to make it a little bit easier, simplify the two complex fractions by multiplying top and bottom by 6, and top and bottom of this one by 2. And there is our final form for the derivative of theta with respect to x, which I have rewritten up here. And we want to know, when does that equal 0? Well, set it equal to 0. Multiply every term by the LCD of both denominators. You can picture an x squared plus 4 times x squared plus 36 up here. And when you multiply through, eliminating the fractions, this is what you get. You get x equals 2 radical 3. OK, so that's how far the distance this person should stand from the wall to maximize the viewing angle of the painting. We would still have to actually prove that 2 radical 3 generates a maximum value for this function, where we, we might put 2 radical 3 on a number line, choose test values to the right and left, and show that to the left of 2 radical 3, the f prime is increasing. Oh, I'm sorry, is positive. So the original function is increasing, and likewise, negative decreasing. So we have a relative maximum of 2 radical 3. If I share my screen and go to Desmos, there's our original function. If I use the Desmos derivative operator, there's what the derivative looks like. And here is the formula that we came up with. And you can see that the graphs match, except I didn't set this for x greater than or equal to 0. 
And this table kind of confirms that g of x and h of x are the same. All the column values are identical. And f of x, which was our theta depending on x, it looks like this 2 radical 3 generates the maximum value uh, of theta in radians. Okay, so there you go. Hope that helped. If you have any questions, post a comment. Let me uh, highlight these two guys and f of x again. There you go. I hope that helped. If you have any questions, post a comment. Thank you.